Good evening. It's uh, Friday, October 1st, 2021, and I felt very compelled to uh, make a journal video. Not going to say much, just wanted to share um, for the record. Did you feel it today? I sure did. Again, today is Friday, October 1st. Here's an image from the SOHO satellite. I pulled this from the Korean uh, Space Agency website from the morning of the 28th. And there are two little splurges, uh, two little coronal mass ejections coming out of the sun. Again, this image from Stereo A facing the sun. So Earth is like literally right uh, out of the field of view to the right here. Um, this is not a functioning video, but the mobile version, the mobile app for the KSB uh, site does have a pretty good video feed going. So I recommend that. So again, that was just a image at 9.18 in the morning from Stereo A. Okay, we'll jump over here to uh, NOAA's uh, space weather website. Nothing great going on in terms of solar wind, but that's separate from the particle ejections shown here by the Enlil model. So they called this only a KP4 event for, you know, nine hours today. Um, I felt it early this morning, going to work, um, throughout the day, just a feeling of grogginess, brain fog, increased blood pressure. It's very subjective, I think, you know, on the person, but also based on the location. So they call this thing the KP index for the whole Earth, because, you know, these particle interactions affecting the ionosphere supposedly affect the whole Earth at one time. But I would think, I, th I do think that uh, there are local variations in locales um, and individuals in terms of how it's perceived. So there's the particles coming towards the Earth there, and there's the hit today on October 1st. Particle density up to about 45 um, per cubic centimeter. Let's see if I can pause this right in the morning, about an hour after it happened. So that image from uh, from Soho here, this image is from the red satellite looking towards the sun. Okay, we're looking like that. This top graph is density, um, looking straight down, and this is looking longitudinally, um, flat line looking across. Um, and so the Earth is slightly um, elevated and it's uh, inc slightly inclined, that is, its orbital plane is slightly inclined above the equatorial orbital plane around the sun. And then down here, this is the interesting graph. These pretty colors are the changes in uh, velocity, radial velocity of the particles. Or, I mean, the, the turbulence that you see in those colors um, are the changes in velocity. And so it's when that turbulence crosses the Earth that you'll see jumps in the particle density. You know, they're, they're correlated. Pretty cool to watch when you uh, can visualize uh, in your mind what's going on. If you think I'm talking total nonsense about all of this, well then, respect to you. I encourage you to um, read more. Or perhaps less, or else why would you be here? And then um, in the background, I've got this document open that's floating around. It's probably going to go down the memory hole pretty soon. I won't say anything about the contents of this document. This author clearly has an agenda, particularly what they say at the end. Um, but I do like how all these sources are gathered together in a logical order, at least with the thesis that they present. Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to really say anything about that in this journaling video. I mostly wanted to ask, um, did you feel it today? Did you feel this? I did. Let me know in the comments. Walete, amici. Gracias prospectantibus. Bye-bye.